Hello, let's draw a five-sided regular star polygon. As you can see in the video, we have the five vertices of a regular pentagon, which is also a convex polygon. When drawing convex polygons, you have to join adjacent vertices. But when drawing star polygons, we have to join non-adjacent vertices. So the first step is we are going to draw a regular pentagon. There are two methods to drawing a regular pentagon. One method is by knowing the length of one side. The first thing we need to do is to draw a horizontal straight line, as shown. On the left side of this line, we will mark a point A. Now, set the compass to the length of the side of the pentagon that we want to draw. And scribe an arc to get point B, as shown. This will be the first side or the base of our polygon. Now we need to draw the perpendicular bisector of the base AB. To do this, I remind you we must draw two arcs with the same radiuses. These radiuses must be longer than half of the base as shown in the video. and then the second arc with the compass positioned on point B. This arc will cut the first arc in two points as shown in the video. The perpendicular bisector is the line which passes through these two points. So let me remind you of the definition of the perpendicular bisector. This is the perpendicular line which passes through the midpoint M of the line segment AB. Okay, so now let's draw a perpendicular line starting from point B. And this line must be longer than the segment AB. Now let's scribe an arc of the length AB on this previously drawn line as shown in the video. And where this arc intersects our line, we will call this point P. So the next step is centering our compass on point M and radius MP, we scribe an arc to the right until it intersects the prolongation of the segment AB, as can be seen on the video. And we will call this point Q. So the length AQ will be equal to the diagonal length We will continue to draw our pentagon. Step 1, with our compass centered on point A and radius AQ, we must scribe an arc which just passes the bisector as shown. Now we repeat this process with the compass centered on point B until the two arcs intersect, as can be seen in the video. And we will call this point D, which will be the highest vertex of the pentagon. Now we must locate the other vertices of the pentagon. To do this, we must scribe two arcs of length AB, which will intersect our previously drawn arcs. Now we repeat this process with our compass centered on point B and scribe an arc to the right until we intersect our previous, previous arc as shown in the video. So now we call these two points C and E respectively. So now that we have obtained these five vertices, we will continue to step two, which is to draw our order two star pentagon, skipping one vertex at a time. So firstly, we will join vertex A to vertex C, skipping vertex B, as can be seen here. Now we will join vertex C to vertex E, skipping vertex D.
Now we will join vertex E to vertex B, skipping vertex A. And vertex B to vertex D, skipping vertex C. And finally, we will join vertex D to vertex A, skipping vertex E. So now we have completed our order 2 star pentagon, which is the simplest regular star polygon. So by pressing the following link, it shows you how to draw regular star shaped polygons with any number of sides, and it also explains their mathematical theory. I hope this video has helped you. Thank you very much. Please press like or subscribe to our channel.